Hello everybody, good evening, this is Cornell Brubat here with the Instinct Podcast Show with your boy Cornell in the house back again with another video a match reaction forward slash match review of Lincoln City versus Portsmouth Before we get into the video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel Also leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about the reaction to the Lincoln City loss um, So without further ado, let's get into the video For me... We took on a Portsmouth side where we thought we could go into this game and win this game, right? Tonight, our performance was shocking tonight. We didn't play very well at all. And and for me, there was one change, obviously, um, that saw Jackson come out because obviously there was no Scully, there was no Brick Cut, there was no Adam Jackson due to injury. And TJ Armour's performance... A player that I do rate and I think has got a potential to be something special. He has just, his performance tonight was just pathetic. It was crap. It was wrong. He made three, two, one or two errors. The first goal, he should have done better. He should have cleared the ball, hoofed the ball up the, bo hoofed the, ball up the box. And then what really got me as well, we kept playing from the back. And this is what I don't like with Lincoln City. Because when we play from the back, that's how the opposition will start to press us and say, OK, we're going to we're going to get at you. You start playing. You start playing your ticky tacky from the back. We're going to press you and we're going to and, and, and we're going to score. And that is what Harness did. And this is the reason why Harness was it was was a danger man from the start. Yeah, he didn't get into the game going towards the 5, 10, 15 minutes for, for Portsmouth. This is when when you have the likes of Harness and, Ro and Roman Curtis on 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 you. This is it. And fair play to fair play to Danny Cowley and, 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 and his brother Nicky and to Portsmouth as well. They played very well. They were they were the ten times better team than us. And that's the reason we lost. The whole team was shocking except for Freddie Draper. Freddie Draper was the only one that was making an impact in the game. And then and then he started to lose lose a bit of a touch a bit and then he had to come off. He was the only one. Yeah, Sorensen made a bit of a, a a little bit of an effort, but same thing. Our midfield: Sorensen, McGrandles, Bishop, Farini, was poor. Ioma was poor, and that's the reason we lost tonight because of poor performances like like you just heard, like I just heard, and what we just saw. And I'm sure, I'm sure, Accrington Stanley is thinking, oh, They've just played, they've just had an absolute mere against Portsmouth. Now Danny Cowley will be laughing at the back of his head and saying, Well, I beat you. This is how this is how I play. But the performance tonight has to be better. It has to be better. That's why I am praying that January comes, because change needs to be done to this team. Something has to change. Not the manager, not Michael Apperton, because Michael Apperton ain't going nowhere. You understand? At the end of the day, it was a poor performance from Lincoln City. It was not good enough. Yes, there were a few times where we were better. Yeah, Adley Lacun, yeah, made a good impact when he came on as a substitute. Yes, um, fair play. Understandable. But the performance was not good enough. I don't blame why the Imps fans had to had to go, had to go out the exit door. I don't blame them because they don't want to see shocking football like that. They don't want to see that is the worst foot performance I have I have heard in my life and I've seen in my life. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And it's and I don't like criticizing players. I don't like criticizing Lincoln City. I don't like to do it. But this performance was worse. As soon as that third goal went in, the game was over. It was finished. And damn right the referee blew the whistle. Something has to change. He needs to change this team. It was missing Bricker. It was missing Scully. It was missing Jacko. Only one we're missing is Walsh. But the performance tonight was not good enough. Needs improvement come this Saturday. We cannot play like that against Akrita Stanley because they will beat us. They will batter us if we don't if we if we don't hype our game. We need to raise our game against against Akrita Stanley come this Saturday. 
If you like this video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you to the 246 subscribers who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Up the imps. Back again. Cornell out.